On this autumn morning in 1606, Henry IV and his young son, the future Louis XIII, are certainly not thinking of the metamorphosis these game-filled woods will soon go through because of the Bourbon king's passion for hunting. Before the end of the century, under the guidance of Louis XIV, the inheritor of these marshes and woodlands, this small burg neighboring Paris will have succumbed to the biggest architectural folly in the history of France. And all the monarchs of Europe will from this moment on turn an envious look towards Versailles. Versailles, with its sublime gardens, fabulous chateaus, and the unheard of pomp of the court of the Sun King. stay in Paris, you can relive the incredible days of the reign of Louis XIV, the greatest monarch in the history of France, by visiting the Louvre, Saint-Germain-en-Laye, Fontainebleau, or Versailles. the very definition of refinement. For centuries, the city of light has dazzled Europe and the West with her lights and her greatness. With her bright beam, Paris attracts thinkers, monarchs, painters, writers, and musicians who today, as yesterday and tomorrow, write the history of their time. Lovers imitate the same gestures that made King Henry IV the rascal worthy of bequeathing his name to Vergelon. Along its sublime perspectives and its tree-lined boulevards, Paris offers visitors magnificent architectural gems from the 17th century. Even if wandering without a map, while strolling through the French capital, one is certain to discover one or another of its numerous treasures. Historical dwellings that great artists or writers visited Ancient walls, privileged to witness dramatic events and then find their way into the history books. Masterpieces of sacred architecture, where over the centuries, monarchs, warriors, and hundreds of generations of the faithful relied on their religion to carry them through wars, epidemics, or life. However, Paris, so strongly republican, owes a large part of its cultural influences to its royal inheritance, and notably to one king, Louis XIV, perhaps the greatest of them all, who nonetheless forsook his capital in favor of Saint-Germain, Fontainebleau, Versailles, his chateaus in the Ile-de-France, all short distances from Paris, placed like precious jewels in the lush green surrounding the city.